Welcome to Domino My Games. I am Maya, joined as always by the lovely Domino. Alright. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> He's my little Necro. <laughs> and did, did you know what the cat's um, number one predator actually is? Stupid people. I was going to say um, uh, Volkswagen buses. Because oh my god, really? I couldn't think of any other brand to, of car. I don't know why Volkswagen came to mind. The joke is cats get hit by cars a lot. But you know what isn't very much of a predator to cats? Me. Sharks! Today we're playing Shark Attack. Shark Attack, oh my god. Ta-da! This is Shark Attack. Shark Attack was a little board game that came out in 1988, I believe. At least that's what the box says. Yeah, it's 30 years old. Jeez. So it's older than your sister, even. Yes. <laughs> anyway, shark attack. Ooh, look at that. That's a like well, you how, can't even see it. I uh, like how there it is. The, uh, the saying right below the title it says the motorized racing chase. The motorized racing chase. I think you have to put emphasis on uh, motorized. Well, that was a pretty cool thing inside of those days to have anything battery operated in, in a board game. What? I remember when people were very uh, impressed with stuff like uh, Talking Battleship which we actually had growing up. I never had original Battleship. I had I don't Talking know Battleship. if I ever played the Talking one. Possibly. No, no, I didn't. But I've seen one. Anyway, the shark is not a Battleship, but it's pretty damn big. And it lives in the water, kind of like a Battleship. So, uh, pretty much the point of this game is that we get to choose a color of fish here on the board, and we got to outrun the shark before he eats us. And it's actually kind of harrowing. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've played it. Uh, detested when it arrived. Indeed. Uh, yeah, I had this growing up, but uh, unfortunately, when you leave the batteries and stuff, stuff, it kills them. So, anyway, yeah, look at this kid on the yeah, back. The too. shark didn't work when we first got it. Yeah, because uh, uh, somebody had left batteries from 1998 inside of them. So. Uh, I should have checked that before I left positive Wait, ratings. I on left eBay. it in there for 98 or 88. 98. <laughs> well, those kids are excited. Oh God, look at them! That one girl, she's like, "Oh my God, this is my future! This is my future! People are going to be after me my whole life, and I'm just a little fish in a gigantic pond, and a gigantic shark is going to be constantly after us." And then the other girl on such is like, "Oh God, somebody shut her up!" Yeah, she's more fascinated with the dice. She also seems to have the Musician's Friend logo right on her head for some reason. But I think it's a hairband. I'm not sure. Is that the Musician's Friend logo? I don't know. I don't think it was around then. <laughs> anyway, uh... The internet was barely around then. <laughs> Chad Tronic seems very uh, impressed <laughs> with his, his winning streak going on right now. And uh, a young Chris Farley is contemplating whether or not he chose the right color or not. And he's just like, oh, forget it, I'll do cocaine. Yeah, anyway. Oh, jeez. <laughs> As it says here on the back of the box, which uh, I will now read to you, Shark Attack by Milton Bradley. I used to think it was called Milt and Bradley growing up, but it's Milton Bradley. Uh, cool story. Um, don't get gulped. It's a race, and a chase, and a swim-for-your-life escape. You are one of four little fish that encounter a shark with a furious appetite. You've got to move and move fast. Roll the dice and move your fish. But watch out if you're not fast enough. Uh, the motorized shark creeps up behind and swallows your fish. Is the shark possibly an allegory for um, not moving fast enough in life in general? And if you don't move fast enough, you're swallowed up by the world in general, society. I personally don't believe that because I think we all um, should follow our dreams at our own pace and not be pressured by people who have no part of it. Wow. <laughs> anyway, roll the dice and move your fish, but watch out if you're not fast enough. The motorized shark creeps up behind and swallows your fish. You're out of game. The last fish to escape the shark's bite wins the game. Roll the dice. The red and yellow colors are rolled on the dice. Move your fish. The red and yellow player move their fish one space on, on the board. Shark attacks. Oh no, green has uh, been lagging behind and the green fish is eaten. 
pockets, a motorized shark, game board, four fish well, ponds, two now dice. Now might as well not even use the green fish if he's already been eaten. This it is, says so on the box. This is one of many stories that could happen. It's our decision to find out what story is the true one. Oh, so it's a mystery game. It is. This This actually, a lot of people don't know, this started out as a clue clone in a way. Um, originally, you were Inspector Shark, and uh, the people uh, that were normally inside a clue were uh, fish. Well, that would imply that an inspector was killing the people. And um, then instead of solving the... Well, as a bit of a spoiler, if you haven't heard this yet, the very last book of Hercule Poirot, he is actually the villain in the end. Why? Uh, he's I don't, old. I don't know that. He's old and he's about to retire, I think. And he's fallen upon one case that, like, I don't know if it's that he can't prove that they did it. So out of spite or something, he kills a murderer or something. So in the end, well, is he truly the villain? That's a uh, moralistic question that I think Agatha Christie wanted us to answer ourselves. And of course, you don't really see that inside of many of the BBC productions because they really toned down the Catholic undertones of it that Poirot was constantly struggling with because England apparently doesn't really like talking about Catholics very much. But <laughs> anyway, yeah, Hercule Shark Row is about to eat uh, fishy um, Hastings. Character. You would have to have the thing pointed right at me. It, it, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Domino doesn't care for sharks very much. And a lot of people don't care for sharks, especially considering there's that new movie coming out, Megalodon and stuff, which has just dated this video, by the way. So if that movie fails, will this video fail? It probably will fail no matter what, but who knows. Everybody <laughs> wants to be like the one that came out in 75. Yeah, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, Jaws. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you know Let's not go that route, though. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, no, I'd rather watch the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Much rather. The Megalodon is about to dawn on us. As I read the instructions here. Uh, so, essentially, I already explained to you precisely how it goes. Um, we are just sharks outrunning a... Or we are fish outrunning a gigantic shark. And I'm actually going to skip reading these because it's that damn simple. It's a children's game. What are we, children? No, we're grown men who look like a Neko and um, uh, some sort of androgynous rocker. I don't know. It's our gimmick. Anyway, this is Shark Attack. <laughs> Essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to roll the dice like that. See that? I got green. Let's say I'm green and you're yellow because you're a fellow. Uh, you the one. You I'll be the yellow fish. This is an example, all right? Time has not decided this for us yet. <laughs> um, we, uh, if it rolls green, I move one space. Meanwhile, this shark is doing this. Well, there we go. There we go. Look at that. This is so harrowing. Oh my god, he's gonna catch up with us. I gotta got move. Arrow, Look, man. I got a green. Look at that, but you didn't get anything. So now you gotta roll. You didn't get anything, so you gotta stay right there. Uh -huh. Yeah, like that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's essentially yeah. what we're doing. Yeah. We're trying to outrun a shark, and the thing is, there's a chance that both of us could be eaten is the cool thing about Yeah, this. it's all depends on the roll of the dice. Actually. Yeah. So it's all really chance. Like it really would be going in the damn ocean. Mm -hmm. If neither one of us roll our color, then we just got to sit there. I don't mind looking at the ocean, but I'm, you'll never see me in it, ever. I'll go on an ocean liner, which is pretty much just a floating hotel. <laughs> Technically, you're in the ocean. Anyways, here's what we're going to do for this. We're going to do a two out of three battle real quick, like... This is a two out of three little battle we're going to be doing. We're going to see who um, gets eaten up first, second, and then third, our third round, we're going to take control of two fish at once, two fish each. And we're going to be rolling the dice and each time it pops up, we move. 
Are we we starting? Fish. Wait, are we starting with just two, or are we doing four? We're doing we're doing just two to begin with. So I think I'm going. You're going to be white because you're white, and I'm going to be red because I'm a red. So <laughs> here's what we're going to be doing. You're caramel. Caramel? Yeah, I'm a caramel boy. I do you're, admit. You're my caramel chocolate boy. And you're my white German chocolate. Is there white German chocolate? There is. All right. And you don't like white chocolate. I don't. Well, that's doesn't why like I sharks. Bet. Doesn't like white chocolate. If I wanted white chocolate, I wouldn't have wanted you. You're not white chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is kind of getting out of hand. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to wonder if these are fish or oysters because you're starting to get a little frisky. Um. Anyways, here we go. We're going to. Uh, how do we decide who goes first? Oh, there's actually something inside of here about who goes. Let's go with who is older. Yeah, I think that's actually the rule inside of here. Whoever's older goes first. You were born in April, I was born in February, so I beat you to it. So I guess you get to roll first. So what we'll do is I'll start it, and as soon as I do, you gotta grab it and you gotta roll. Now here's the dealio. If it rolls white twice, do you want to move twice, or do you yeah. just want to, okay. Yeah. Count if, both of them. Okay, so say it ends up like that with two white, like that, you mm -hmm. get to go one, two. Yeah. All right, we'll do that. And uh, let's just put you over here inside the yellow space, just so you're a little further from me, yeah, so we don't so, bump yeah, into each other. Yeah, we don't bump it, because that was a problem when we were playing this, we kept running into each other. Yeah. So, <laughs> of course, I don't mind bumping into you every now and then. <laughs> Well, right now we're outrunning a monster. There's always time for for Jello. You know, <laughs> you know that is honestly when you look at horror movies, there's always a part where somebody has sex for absolutely no stupid ass reason. That that became a parody of horror movies and stuff like that. Actually, like who would be in the mood to do that while you're about to die? I don't know, if we were together for a lot longer than the people inside of the like that's the trope of a movie is that people are together literally like a day and suddenly they're screwing. But I think that if you and I had been together for like as long as we've been together, about six years now, and then some world tragedy happened where we were on the on the run of some kind, I kind of feel like, yeah, just out of frustration and the fact that well, we're we love each other so much. Yeah, we probably yeah, won't Yeah, but I mean, like, they're <laughs> always doing it right when the damn killer is, like, right there. Either right in the room or right down the hall. Or... Maybe, maybe they have a voyeuristic um, fetish of some kind. I just think it's bad, lazy writing. Yeah, it's, it's very And bad. coming from a writer, I would know. And unlike us, who have hilarious jokes, as you've heard already, we are great writers, and we are about to be great swimmers. <laughs> there we go. You get to go first. You roll that. And I'm a terrible swimmer. I don't like the water. I could swim the very second I actually jumped in water. Very strange. Well, I could enough. keep myself above water, out of frustration. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Help! <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Let's uh, let's do this here. So what we're gonna do is, you roll, and as soon as it hits the board, I'm starting the shark up. So you better be ready. Are you ready? Go ahead. Here we go. Shark attack, shark attack, shark attack. Give him a smack and he'll smack you back. Uh-oh, you didn't get it. Yes. There's still lots of time. Okay, okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. He's Look at slow. that. Look he's, at that. He's old and slow. He's 30 years old. That's, that's true. Well, that's not old. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, no, you can't do that. I'm a, that that was mine. That was my roll. You can't move on your my roll. Go, get, oh, get. Right, yeah. Okay, go. Well, you, you have to keep up with it. <laughs> well, he is getting oh, closer God. to you. Oh, my God. No, I don't like that. I, uh, okay, go, go. You know, the last time we did this, I kept getting eaten by the shark. Oh, my God, go, 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 go. Ah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah. You're going. Go. Go. Ah. <laughs> ah. 
Oh no! Oh. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Guess I won that one. You won that one. All right. And look at this fish. He's like, oh my god! What did I just see? <laughs> Wunderbar. Okay. So that's one for Domineer. So. What are we going to do now? We're going to do one more. We're gonna do it again. But this time, we are actually going to implement a new rule. The rule this time is going to be exactly the mistake that you coincidentally made. If somebody rolls your color, you get to move. You get to move, even if somebody rolled your color. It was just, well, actually it was your mistake because I, yeah. My only oh, mistake no. was buying this! Okay. No. <laughs> anyway. Well, the, you bought it. <laughs> so I lost. I get to go first this time around. So I'm going to stick with red and white. And hopefully I don't get the blues. Red, white, and blues. Not the just America's the, colors. The board is Britain's blue. colors as well. It is. Anyway. I have a smidgen of Brit in me. I bet, I, I bet you do. I bet you do. I bet you do. I'm mostly German American. You have some Native American in you too. Well, now. By inject. You're the one who just brought it up. I, I know, and I don't know why I did. It's because I'm stupid. It should be me getting eaten by that shark. You did. My fish persona did. <laughs> well, you know what? My fish sona. No, no. Since the red one was eaten, you need to take it off the board and put on a different color. All right. Let's do green. Green, because I'm mean and green and kind of lean. Not really. I drink a lot of Coca-Cola. I'm fat. Anyway, you are not fat. I'm oh, fat where it counts. So, who in this room has seen you naked besides you? Not those people. They don't know. I know. Uh. uh Ro Roosty. Roosty is seeing me naked, haven't you, Roosty? What'd you think? <laughs> That's why I thought. All right. All right. This was supposed to be a short video. <laughs> so. No, uh, let, let, it's fine. Let, let, no. Oh yeah, I get to. I don't want to touch the shark. All right. All right. Yeah, it's just a plastic. You, you shark. like to turn things on anyway. So here we go. And boom. He's right. You know. I get to go. Now you go. You know what? You were a little bit slow on that. I'm gonna get. Well, because he got stuck. I was watching. Him. The, the first time around, he always does get a little stuck. All so right. Don't worry. All right. All right. Here we go. And but. Okay. Ah, okay, you get to move. Okay, I moved you. Go. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Time out, time out. Ah. No, he just stopped to eat the fish in the corner. Okay. Here I go. Proceed. Ah. Okay, go. Yeah. Yes. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Go, 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 go. Shoot. The the thing is to be calm. If if you get overexcited, he chases you more. They can smell fear. Uh, yes, they can actually. Oh God. It's go. called pheromones. Your turn. Your turn. Yes! And you get to go. Okay, go. Yeah. I think we lost count on Yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> but we're still going anyway. It's all about having fun and not getting eaten. All right, go. I can't do it, Jaden. Sure you can. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay. GX. Okay, go. Uh, Oh, okay. we, I made it past the... Go. Uh, Move. Uh, do we just okay. have to go until someone dies? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, you don't you even dare. Yeah. Ah! You. Ah! 
Go, 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 go. Okay. Yes. That didn't roll. That just, that flipped over. You don't know the meaning of roll. You had to go to roll school. Hurry up. And you failed. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh. Okay, now we're just rolling for each other. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I will break you. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right, that goes one to one now. Isn't that wonderful? So, I guess the next one decides it. Yeah. Gonna be for the three. So, whoever wins this one, that's gonna be it. So, net, blah, 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 blah. the rules for the last round are going to be we all control two fishkins. Fishkin Lickens. Look at that. Oh, this is going to go all over the place. So I'm going to be <laughs> green and red, and you're yellow and I white. I think we're just going to be moving every single time. Well, uh... Now do we stop when one is eaten or both? Both. Both have to be eaten, and whoever is left wins. All right, and that decides all of it. That'll be it. So this is for all the chum. So you lost last time. So you get to go first. You get to roll first. So remember, you're white and yellow, and I'm green and red. And do you want to implement the rules of if we roll double color, we move twice, or do you? Yeah, to, we'll just keep that. Okay. So here we go. All right. One, two, pick up your dice, and roll it. Red, you. Okay, you get to move yellow. To green. Yellow. And no, yellow. we're only moving our own colors. Oh, well then. Okay, you roll mine. Okay, green. Go. Oh, and yellow. No, no, no. Uh, Alright. Yellow. Fine. Fine. And green. No, I don't get. Just yellow. Just yellow. Boop. Okay, you roll for me. Green, green. <laughs> uh, red, 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 red. <laughs> Okay, we're, we're, we're a little confused here. <laughs> well, the last time you had me move your colors, did Ru you not? Well, <laughs> the penguin said it best, things change. So What penguin? Tim Burton's penguin. Remember that was a little recurring thing? He was like, things change. And then later on, Batman was like, things change. Oh, all right. So it's like repetition and it's meaningful. I, d I thought you were talking about an actual bird, not, not the character. I don't know why, when I say the penguin said, I think of the penguin from Batman. I just... Well, I usually do too, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know I need to iterate that much. <laughs> penguin, invented by Bob Knight in 1945, said things change, but it was actually the Tim Burton iteration from 1992 or three, whatever. Want well, to know some Batman trivia real quick? The penguin also known as Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot, is actually one of the very few villains of Batman who is not insane. He is very much sane in what he does. He's just a criminal. Um, could you have fit sharps into that fact somehow? Because we are playing shark attack, not penguin attack. You brought up penguin, and actually he does have a lot of uh, sea creature... Uh, um, foes. Foes, yeah. Anyway, all I could think of was Killer Croc for some reason. I kept thinking, he does have a shark villain, but no, it's Killer Croc. Uh, I think there was a shark villain called Great White. Hmm. It's a very little known villain in his robes. His Commissioner color. Gordon was like, you gotta catch Great White. And he's all right, he's all right. And he busts in there, and it's just the 80s band. Great White singing once bit, twice shy, or whatever. Twice bit, once, I don't remember how it goes. Anyway. Great white. I don't remember. It's overplayed, and actually the band is really good, but that one song just makes them sound like some sort of southern rock garbage dad band. So, anyway, let's do this. Go. Green, green. One, two. Yellow. Uh, red. Uh, yellow. Red. Yellow and white. 
green. Uh, yellow. Red. Uh, my white fish is going to be... Uh, the end of yours. Green, green. One, two. White. Red. God, he catches up rather quickly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, uh, oh, that was yours. Oh, uh, I guess so. Uh, green. No. Uh, 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 okay, so we have to take him out. Take like out that. the white one, too. Did the white one get eaten? Yes, a long time ago. He's under there. Okay, so it's just <laughs> you and me now. So. It always was you and me. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess it's a two-player game. <laughs> so <laughs> it's green and yellow. Who's the dead fella? I'm gonna let you go first, just so How cool you, it is. you get a biting chance. You know. Here we go. Roll. One, two. Ah. That was ah. my roll. I know, but you weren't gonna move fast enough. <laughs> okay. Oh uh, shit. Uh, I, I was moving. Oh, but you, 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 you. I'm dead. Oh, oh. How does that make you feel? I well. I conquered the game with a shark, which I absolutely hate sharks. You can look it up, it's called Galeophobia. Well, I think that this is a shark that we can all agree with. <laughs> well, this time it was on but, my side. Yeah, that's what I was gonna, I was trying to say that, but I started laughing before I could say it. Uh, this is a shark that we can all agree was on your side all along, so he, he's, I'm sorry I was born what I am. <laughs> I've said that before too, don't worry. Whoa. We're getting we're getting <laughs> deep and dark on down Actually no, no, no. I've actually never been sorry for who I am. <clears throat> I've been sorry for who you are. <laughs> oh, really. Now, since I've won, what I want now is some cream. Ice cream. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Let's go out and get some ice cream. We're going to Baskin Robbins. It's a chain here in North Carolina. But before so, that, or America. Before so. that, you could do something for me. What's that? I'll find out. <laughs> anyway, uh, this has been Shark Attack Domino My Games. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll uh, see you next time. <laughs> what am I getting? <laughs>